I'd like to introduce your new boss, Tanner. Hello there, everyone, and welcome to a Let's Play of Die, which is a game that was sent to me by Bat Country Games. They're pretty cool people. They sent me a, a, a key for it, and it didn't work, and I was like, oh, oh well. And then they're like, hey, I heard your key didn't work, and so we sent you a one that works. And I was like, cool! And then the other one didn't work, and I was like, oh. And then they're like, no, don't worry, bro! We'll send you one that works, and they finally sent me one that totally works. They're cool people. Therefore, let's give a playthrough of at least a bit of Die here, which is set to come out February 23rd, so this is an exclusive sneak peek. Uh, I'm going up in the world, obviously. We have a bit of a story here about the pigments of the world being no longer in able to color the world, which makes stuff like a Game Boy, which is of course the saddest timeline. And here we are, Hugh, not to be confused with Huey, the uh, the the antagonist of the entire Metal Gear Solid series. Um, I've been told that this is a Twitch platformer, which made me worried thinking I would have to stream this game until I realized it just meant it was in the style of, say, Super Meat Boy and stuff. So let's take a look at Die, which I want to say every time like some type of YouTube poop. Let's take a look at controls. We are using an Xbox One controller. A to jump, X to float, B to drop down, Y to commit the suicide. Let's do this. Slot A, let's go. Oh, I can't use the control pad. Oh, that's scary. I don't know about that, guys. Let's, uh, let's enter purple world. I'm a, I'm a big fan of the control pad. But if, if, if that's how it's gonna be, I guess that's how it's gonna be. 140 pigments. That's a little worrying to see. Okay. Hello world, purple one. Let's go. I am a fan of 2D platformers, though. So, do we have to follow this little guy? Is that, is that what it is, or is it just like sort of go at your own pace? Checkpoint. Okay, that's a checkpoint. Collect pigments. Whoa! That made things visible. Oh, B to drop. I see. Wall jumps. Nice. Oh, death! Ha! <laughs> oh my god, now I get why it's called die. That's actually really funny. Okay. Okay. I see. Oh, I'm not good at this. Oh, I'm not good at this at all. Yeah, I want to get this guy, though. So I want to make sure I keep getting that guy every time I die. That's actually a really, really funny pun. Okay, so X's float sort of like a... Oh, sort of like a Kirby. Sort of like a Kirby. Not exactly like a Kirby. Kind of like a Kirby. It is not... Like, it doesn't feel like how I thought it would feel, for sure. You fall faster than I expected. Oh, this is going to be fun for speedruns. Okay, I want to get that, though. Whoops, darn it. Okay. Oh, I keep missing it. Okay. Let's get this. No! Okay, so let's try self-destruct. Okay, so it works like little big planet style. Got it. Nope. I want to I want to get that. Is there no like Come on. Oh my god. Wait a second. Wait. Wait a second. I see the... No, maybe not. I was going to say, little dude up there is sort of telling me what to do. Okay. Okay, let's see. So he comes down, goes here, he jumps all the way up there. Huh? Oh! Oh, jeez. That is a tight jump that I need to get. Yeah! Nice. I'm not going to self-destruct now. I am going to jump into that enemy, though. Great! Oh, okay. This is the worst. I mean, the game is fun, but this is the worst. I can't get... Okay. Hit! Whoops, I didn't even jump. Jumping is important. Okay. <gasps> no! Okay, one more try. One more try. We did it. Now let's not die. Get it? No! Oh my god. The... The movement in the air is almost too... Almost... Like, it's tighter than I thought. 
Okay, we're good. We cool? No! Oh! Oh my god, no! Okay, that was entirely my fault because I totally, uh, didn't expect to jump up the same wall like that. There we go. Alright, checkpoint. Where? Oh, is this end of stage? End of stage, okay. Yeah, th <laughs> three minutes! I did so good! <laughs> you could probably book through that though and get some crazy stuff. Night sky unlocked, okay. Alright, let's uh, give that a try. Night sky. Alright. So if I get all the purple, does the purple unlock for like every stage? Oh, Donkey Kong Country flashbacks, my dudes. Oh god. Yeah, no, man, back in the day, me playing Donkey Kong Country on my Game Boy Color. Got some flashbacks to that. Okay, that moves faster than I expected. Do I have to, like, go up, a up and over? Is that what it's saying? I don't think so. Oh, I shouldn't have gone backwards. I could have made it if I just kept going forwards. Okay, alright. And... Hit! Or not, that's cool. Okay, alright. I do have to apologize on one thing. Uh, there's a bit of slowdown occasionally, that's my computer. Uh, my computer is not good for playing computer games. So, that's fine, I did it again, I went backwards. My fear caught up to me. Cause the, the minecart accelerates. And that's what's getting me. Yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, no, my computer is not very good for playing games on. Uh, hence why I'm... I'm gonna go down. And so I'm kind of terrified for when I want to play, um, A Hat in Time. Cause I- oh no. So I want to do a full Let's Play of A Hat in Time. But like... I, I made that mistake twice. But like... It's only on console because the, uh... The, the Wii U version never happened because they realized, hey, the Wii U version won't work because the Wii U is super terrible to program for. Which is understandable when I- I probably shouldn't share this, but well, I've heard stories about porting Mass Effect 3 to, um, to the Wii U. Wait, wait, Cairo Orc is now playing K on the movie? Are you serious? I- how do you play K on the movie? I genuinely want to know. That's incredible. I see what I have to do here. This is some basic platforming, you just gotta... So there's five in each stage. Whoops, I guess I wasn't... Can you only wall cling for a certain amount of time? I guess so. Let's try. Let's let's jump up here and try. Maybe not... Oh, yeah, so okay, you can only wall cling for a certain amount of time. It's not like Meat Boy where you just keep sliding. That's something I'm gonna have to get used to. Or Mega Man. Let's go with Mega Man. Or not. Okay, no, I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get that. It's a bit of a puzzle game, too. I know it's like, says it's a Twitch platformer, but this reminds me more of a puzzle game, if only because, like, kind of a platformer puzzle, you know? Okay, I see. I gotta, I got, I gotta float down, go to the wall. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay. I see what you did there, programmers, being all like, hey, Let's give him a false sense of security. Then, then you did the- Oh no! Smart. Smart in a devious way, for sure. Okay, I gotta turn off those- those Steam notifications, cause while well, they're- they're- they're good for a meme every now and then. Uh, they also- oh my god. They're also very, uh, very distracting for a game such as this. Plus, I don't know half the people on my on my uh, Steam friends list because I don't use it. Someone in a recent video asked me, "Hey, can I use your can can I become friends with you on Steam?" To which I said, "Why would you ask?" I made a mistake. I made a terrible mistake. Uh, well, I can't get that. Um, to which I said, "Why? Why? What's the point? It's not like I play games online. It's like not like I share anything. Like, what? Why? Why would you want to do that?" I guess, whatever. You can send me a request, but I probably won't say yes. Like, unless we have, like, a couple of mutual- I don't get it. I don't get why people ask to be my friends on all sorts of, uh, all sorts of, um, PlayStation Network and stuff. It's like, I- I, I don't-
play games online. It's like it means nothing to me. So like if you want to, for the sake of your own benefit, then go ahead, man. But I genuinely don't care. Achievement unlocked. Hue hue hue. Very cute. Very adorable. I like that. Like, I mean, if, if, if you want to and you send me a message that's not like... Like, the worst thing is when I get... When someone sends me a friend request with no actual message and I'm just expected to do it. It's like, sorry. That's... That's not how it works. I need to at least sort of know potentially who you are, you know? So, like, yeah. No. Pro tip. If you're gonna send me a friend request on any sort of, uh... Of gaming plat- oh darn it. On any sort of gaming platform, uh, put a thing saying like, Hey bud, I watched your videos. They sure were neato. I'm this person from the comments. I won't bother you. Put that part in for sure, because I, I need to be reassured. Because there was a couple times. There was a couple times, man. Not gonna get into it, but whew. No one likes that person who constantly messages you. Like, unless you're like a hot girl. In which case... I may not complain. Alright, we need to get under these Roculins or whatever. The Roculus lens. Roculus Rift, that's what the joke I was trying to go for. Okay. Okay. But I like it when they place these dudes right in a place where it's easy to get them, you know? Like, where, where if I were to die, if I were to be like, oh no, I died. I'd be fine. I could just run through quickly again. I'm sure that it'll be different later on. Okay, let's try this as it was intended to be done. I say as I screw up. Oh god. Okay, the spike under it is a little too much, man. Come on. I get it. It's a Twitch platformer. It is of the genre. Would Donkey Kong be a Twitch platformer like Country? Legitimate question. I don't know why I asked it. Like, other than it just came to my mind, but I don't know. I feel it. I feel it, man. Okay, that one's not too bad to get, I say, as I nearly die a couple times. I like it. The, the, the idea of the color returning, you know what it reminds me of? Here's a game that only some of you will know, unless you watch Game Grumps, in which case... Sadly, more of you might know, and the magic is lost. Um, when I was a kid, uh, at my Nana's house, they had Troll Islands for the Super Nintendo. And the whole point of that game was you have to um, get the colors back and stuff. And the way you get colors back is by um, just touching the ground, and every block of ground you touched would bring color back. Which was admittedly a really neat concept. I really liked it. Now, was the game also terrifying? Absolutely. If you watch the Game Grumps run of that, you'll, you'll agree. That game is terrifying for, for, for many reasons. Um, but I remember it just being, oh god, an auto-scroller. I just remember it being a game, though, that I played quite a bit, and I was like, man, one day I'm gonna talk to people about this game. Also, I'm going to die. One day I'm going to talk to people about this game and they won't know it existed. And then I saw it played on Game Grumps and I'm like, holy crap, you have validated my entire existence. Between that and when they played Sengoku Basara, that one surprised me. So I was like, okay, thanks for kind of crappily play- whoops. Thanks for kind of crappily playing the game that I put like hours and hours into one summer with my sister. Where we like maxed out everyone. Oh no, we gotta be speedier. Okay, and huh, huh. Yeah, 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 huh. Oh no! Slowly plummet to my death. Okay. And one, two, three. Go here. Ooh, that's close. Go up here. Huh. Okay. We can do it, we can do it. Yeah! Oh no! Oh, darn it. You know, a title like Run, very apt for this level, for sure. Okay. I'm starting to feel it. I'm starting to feel this game's rhythm and flow, you know? Every game has a sort of rhythm and flow. Oh no, I didn't make it. Uh, but it's like... 
And once you feel that, then you get into it, you know? You can de- whoops. Oh, well, I'm gonna die. Uh, you can definitely tell when you're watching someone play a game and they don't feel the rhythm of it. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, every game has its own natural rhythm when played correctly. And, like, that is such a big deal with being, like, a, a, a gamer who can sort of pick up on- oh, man. A gamer who can pick up games quickly is being able to detect that rhythm. And I definitely feel like for, 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 if you want to be a, a literate gamer, you got to get them rhythms. I'm not talking like music. No, no, no. I'm talking like, like biorhythm is the best way to put it. Cause it's like how a game, I got I got to specifically jump over it. Uh, how a game like feels in your hands and feels when you, you know, when you're doing well, like fighting games have a very different biorhythm from a lot of games. And that's why I really like them. It's such a unique biorhythm, you know. Marvel has an amazing biorhythm that I love. Skullgirls is like a better version of that biorhythm. But like, it's when you're doing well in a game. Now, mind you, some, you know, tactical games even have a biorhythm if the biorhythm is more slow and methodical. Do you know what I'm saying when I talk about this? I feel like, I feel like I'm making sense to me, but potentially not to many others. Oh man, that is... That is a needlessly difficult jump. I feel like that mandatory jump is kind of harder than it deserves to be. I'm not even going for the for the dude this time. I'm just going for the jump. And if this is the difficulty now, I fear later on. I fear what actually I did watch the trailer for this on Steam. Was it on Steam? I think it might have just been on YouTube. What did I watch the trailer on? I watched it on something. I remember looking at this and saying, wow, that looks like it can be fun and frustrating. Okay, so if I jump sort of straight up off of a wall jump, I can get up there faster. I see. Right. Yeah, because a straight sort of wall jump kind of goes up at an angle. So I don't know if the float actually gives you... There we go. Yeah! I don't know if the float will actually give you, um, more distance, like watching it. I don't know about that. Um, wait, where do I go after that? Oh, I need to, I need to proc that. Oh, dude, that's cool. Now that, that's some level design. Huh? Uh, okay. Don't, I even said don't die. I didn't listen to my own rules. I played myself. I like that. I like the 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 proking of whoops. I like the the proc. Is that what you say to proc something? When 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 you activate this, have I been using the word proc wrong all these years? I just use it because it's a cool gamer. Why do I why do I jump up there? I can just stay on here. I use it because it's a cool gamer word. That's it. I'm sorry. All right. Gotta jump, hit that, hit that. No! Okay. We got to jump, hit, 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 hit. My favorite thing about games is when you try to do something well and then every consecutive attempt goes worse and worse and worse. I love that in games. Alright. Alright. Oh no! Okay. Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That was fun. That was tough, but fun. Wait, what? Oh, there's a hard mode too? Oh, there's a hard mode too. Gotta go fast. Ha! Huh, nice Sonic reference. Um, alright. We'll just take a look at what the next one's like. I don't know if we'll complete it, depending on what it's like. Uh, up, down, left, right, impending, violet space. Alright, we'll try one more. And I think that'll be enough for, for, for this quick look. Up, down. Alright, well, I'm guessing it will involve verticality of nature. Please don't shut. Please don't shut. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay, I see. No, oh, I jumped. Didn't need to jump there. Yeah, one... And that's, that's something that gets me in a lot of platformers, is when there's instances where you don't need to jump. 
you know, like right. Oh, well, right there I did. I lied. But you know, like, you know what I'm talking about when there's. Oh my god, what the hell? Where there's instances of you don't need. What? I'm not even gonna attempt that. There's. I'd have to jump across there. Oh, that'd be so diff. No, no, I'm not. It's not worth it. It ain't worth it. Like, even. even you know what? This is one of those games where it's like. It's like not like Mario, where it's like the platforming's easy. It's getting the collectibles that's hard. It's like no, this is one that it's like the platforming's hard. Getting the getting is this death? Oh yeah, nice. He's not water soluble. It's no, it's it's a. I can't jump out even. Okay, it's like it's the opposite of Mario, where Mario is you know easy then hard. This is hard, and then die. And, oh my god, I just realized that's the- oh, right, yeah, it's the pun on the title. Good, good pun. I can appreciate a good pun. Okay, guys, be honest. Did you come up with the pun before the actual anything else? Because if so, congratulations. That's how all game development should go. Unless you're like, Bubsy. Because what could possibly go wrong? Oh no! Wait, how can I get them both? Is this like a, you can only save one instance? What? I think you can only save one. Is it one per trip? I don't, I don't know. Unless I have to like, oh my god. I see exactly what you have to do. You have to fall down there then like platform, oh my god. I'm not even gonna try. I'm not even gonna try. All right. Thank you for watching, everyone. Uh, this has been Hugh, which is an adorable name. It truly is. Um, or no, Die. Hugh is the character. I'm sorry. It's been Die. And I've been making jokes about the title this whole time. Uh, Die. Uh, thank you to Bat Country Games for sending me this. You guys are super cool. And uh, go check it out when it's released on Steam uh, February 23rd if you're interested. You know, scratch that itch of uh, Super Meat Boy. You know, but kind of a little different. It is different, and that's the good thing. You know, it does feel different. And I feel like, having played the first, you know, couple worlds of Super Meat Boy, I haven't finished it because I'm not a masochist. Um, haven't finished it. Um, I feel like this is gets harder quicker, and I feel like it would be better for the veterans of the, of the people who like it. So, it's not been a paid review. I actually genuinely enjoy this. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. Ciao. You can go